So I don't know if you guys can hear me. Um, uh, I'm still giving Mama her space, um, letting her get comfortable that she and her babies are safe because she's having some pretty serious maternal aggression um, protecting her babies. So. Basically, all I'm doing to interact with her right now, um, I have a baby gate up, and which allows me to open the door um, and keep her inside, but reach over the gate and put um, fresh food in for her. There you go. Um, she's eating a lot of food, which is good. Good, nutritious food. Um, I would love to put clean bedding in there, get the empty bowl out of there, but um, I'm just going to take it really slowly with her and hopefully we can build some trust. And uh, as soon as I get the sense that she will let me in uh, without, without being stressed, um, then I will come in and, and um, I definitely want to weigh the kittens as soon as possible and uh, confirm genders. Um, but they all look like they're doing great. She's an excellent mom. Um, I have a white noise machine out here in my office that I've turned up to, I'm hoping to block out um, just the regular household noises because she seems very sensitive to noises. Um, and probably what I'm going to have to do um, when I do decide it's time to weigh them, I may need to uh, lure her out of the bathroom into the office with some nice food and then just quickly come into the bathroom, um, weigh them, check them, make sure they're all doing okay, and then I'll let her back in. So that's kind of the tentative plan at this point. I don't know when that will occur, um, 
I may try later tonight if she remains calm. Um, she didn't do any hissing or um, lunging uh, when I brought the food just now, which is good. And she was kind of rubbing against the door, which is a good sign. Um, but she has a hair trigger, definitely, for sure, because she's a protective mom. And um, she's new here, and she doesn't really know. She's been through a lot in the last couple of weeks, so going to give her lots of space, but still take the best care of her and her babies that I possibly can. Um, names have been posted on Facebook, tinykittens.com slash Facebook. Thank you so, so much to Tina and uh, Everyone else who donated so generously, um, we raised more than half of the amount of money that uh, it will cost to take care of these guys from rescue to adoption. So that's amazing, and um, I am so grateful for your support. I can't even say how grateful I am. Um, so thank you. He's going to town on the food. So hopefully we will be able to make some progress later today and hopefully the noise machine is drowning out uh, some of the oops, sorry, some of the noises that are that she's not appreciating. So um, of course the bunny is now scratching on my office door, so I think she heard that a little bit, but she's come back to eating, which is a good sign. Um the other cats in the house do not have access to the office right now, so um, she won't, she doesn't have any cats outside the door at any time, or scratching on the door, or meowing, or anything like that. They're all a whole room away at any given time, so um, I'm hoping that she will start to feel a little more safe. Um, but we'll just have to give her time. Now I'm seeing that I haven't pushed the, the um, food in as far as I should have to close the door. So I'm going to pretend to do that now. Hey, Mama. Hello. I'm just going to slide this towards you a little bit if that's okay. Can you just bring a little closer? I know, I'm sorry. One more inch. Perfect. Thank you. All right, everybody. I will check in later. Watch your nose. Good girl. Okay, Mama, I'll feed a little bit. You're doing a good job with your baby.